What's going on, guys? No guys here. Well, title update number three has come out. This is the this is the one of the major ones, I would say. You've had two and one, um, but in all honesty, title updates two and one more just visual, as opposed um, to actual gameplay kind of updates. If that makes sense. And this is why I say to everyone every year: do not rely on a certain mechanic on the game. If you're following my FIFA School series, there's a reason why FIFA School videos and the in-depth ones are not out just yet. Because a lot of the things are going to change in the first two months. And this is an example why. What I'd recommend is, when this first week only plays, play how you played in FIFA 19 and forget about where you finish in a week. FIFA 20, sorry. And forget about a weekend league, where you finish. Because every year, it's the same thing. People go on YouTube, what's the meta way of scoring? They learn the meta. They play the meta for two weeks. They end up getting gold one, near elite three. Get all happy, giddy. Two weeks later, they nerf it. Then they start crying. They're stuck in goal three for the rest of the year. So, so I'll say it's very, very important. Do not even rely on the meta. Just play out. There's a lot of visual changes here. You can read this yourself. I'm going over to the gameplay. Number one, no teammate contain. Of course, mentioned, which I'm absolutely appalled at. Increase, increase um, competitive mode difficulty. Um, yeah, so no teammate contain. That's kind of the main thing I was looking for and passing changes. But... Increase competitive mode difficulty. This is most impactful when a CPU is defending counterattacks. That is for me, just some squad battles, stuff like that. That's good. Um, reduce the amount of time it takes for players to recover from a block animation. I don't mind this. I think it's mainly when you're shooting. You probably, you probably know what I'm talking about. You'd be in that situation where you're shooting inside the box and the, and the ball won't shoot. I think that's a major issue in the game. They need to fix that first and foremost. Um... But, you know, I don't agree with this, really. I mean, as long as this is not tied to an AI block, but it probably is, contextual agile dribbling now maintains a slightly longer distance to the opponent in order to improve maneuverability. Um, I was surprised. I thought contextual agile dribbling is too overpowered in its current mechanic. Um, I just think, just bring back elastic dribbling. What is the need for contextual agile dribbling? I talked about this on the stream, and if you remember the Patreon, you'll know I talked about this as well. Um, so down, this was ridiculously OP, especially when you chain two in a row. So nerf, that's good. Body fit knock on the zero foot. This is important as well. Um, direct directed runs. The big issue was you flick the right analog stick and your player would do a body fit. It's so it was so seen. That's why no one used directed runs. People just used the pass and go and play a lock. So thankfully that has now been changed. You'll have to see how that really transpires in game. Play lock will also stick to one play during the match. Okay, I've not experienced that. Some situation a shot. Um this is mainly for just it depends on certain controls I think maybe um, or maybe just a glitch or positioning we're playing the goalkeeper the goalkeeper will continue to make movements lose stamina no, it's that through pass or some result in a short pass yes this is a big big issue I talked about this in the stream as well and I talked about this as well in some of my videos player A but make a pass to player B over here um, what would happen is sometimes a through ball and what would happen is let's say there's another player over here the game instead of doing a through ball down the wing, even, even if you use like, I don't know, like in terms of a full bar power, let's say you use, I don't know, like half a bar. I find that the game, so let's say for example like here, you want to make a pass. Let's say you're using two thirds of power. Sometimes the ball will just lock onto the player close by. And that was a big, big issue. So thankfully they've hopefully addressed that um, because I'll be doing through balls down the wing and for some reason I'll be going to my CDM and I'll be thinking, what the hell's going on? Uh, sometimes a player would kick the ball into the ground during a cross resulting in a poor cross attempt. I wouldn't even mind that being in the game. Um, considering our OP cross side. Input for instant tackle have now, been pre have now been pressed within a shorter time window to avoid a conflict with secondary contain. So yes, I think you just tap it. And this is better for people like myself. We switched to R1, R2 around. Um, that should fix that as well. Uh, my secondary contain is on square though, however. Or X. Put the logic terminal when the player's requesting a jockey versus a shoulder to seal that challenge. This is actually very important. I actually can see a lot of penalties because a lot of the time, my player wasn't doing a seal out animation or like a shoulder challenge or like a protection mechanic and opposed just doing the jockey animation. So this was a big issue with penalties because what would happen is the jockey animation will kind of take over instead of doing like a seal out and I end up giving away a penalty. So, um, because I'll be trying to get the ball back. So, so that's it. I just want to the ball being missed um, during straight out of dribbling. This is mainly, I would say, in heavy first touches or when the, the ball is either at a second bounce, second ball or the ball bounced in front of you. Uh, requested a clearance someone who's nicely performed a stretching pass animation I actually uh, actually know maybe down the wing I've noticed maybe um, made adjustment for the receiver for selection for through pass resulted in more desi desirable receiver targets okay what the hell does that mean made adjustments to the receiver selection for through passes 
I don't know how that's going to work. I really don't know. Rarely, request, ra rarely when request across the credit request will start talking about a war going out of bounds. Um, I've not crossed enough to really notice that, so I can't comment on that. Um, in rare situations, I've not experienced that. Sometimes in the past, we're not happy when the ball carried the opponent was physically contesting. This was a major issue, but I don't just think it's when the opponent's contesting. A lot of the times, I'm requesting a pass button, but the pass is not being made. And this is not just when the ball carrier has the ball and someone's physically contesting. I find that it's when you're in a 1v1 situation as well, and your player is running, sometimes you press the pass button and the pass button won't work. I found that out as well. And maybe it's just from physically contesting, maybe I just haven't realized it per se too much, but that is something that I've noticed. I have not noticed not noticed that really yet. I'm gonna get stuck in a goal or Sometimes the front swimming not because so okay. Step overs while standing, yes. Combination the ball roll into the scoop turn, not done that yet. Sometimes we're not before really immediately after requested um after the ball carriage finished turning. I think that is actually something that I noticed. Look at the right stick in the process. This was an issue, but I thought this was because of player lock assistance on high. I turned it to none that kind of addressed it for now. Okay, you know what? Most of these, look, there's also a lot of things that could happen in the game, which is called silent patches, which EA don't tell you what's going on. The best way I can explain this is I think in FIFA 16, they did a silent patch uh, where they patched. Um, they, I think they would reduce, they, would take, they, take, they took away the drag back from the game in FIFA 16, I think in a patch or 17 or something, or 16 or 15, I can't remember where it was, but they took the drag back away. And then a lot of people were complaining and, and so was I. Um, so a lot of things could have changed in the gameplay, things that we don't even know. Finishing could have changed, but just because they didn't write it down. So a lot of things could have gone beyond what they said. They still need to update a few things. Passing accuracy needs to be changed. 180 no scope needs to get patched. Teammate contain needs to get brought back into the game. Why is it there? AI, um, AI defending needs to be nerfed. Jockeying animations need to be buffed. Tackling animations need to be buffed. Um... What else? I think skill moves need to be nerfed a bit more. I think certain skill moves, like the Lasko has already been nerfed, but I think certain chaining, like the fake shot stop into the La Coqueta. Um, there's actually so much, I mean, AI team press. There's actually so much that needs to be changed in this game. It's actually a lot, but we'll, we'll see. We'll, 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 give, we'll give the game, um, we'll see how things have changed, player lock, and we'll probably, I'll do some testing and I'll come back to you guys. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Take it easy and I'll catch you next time.